This big update brings a full UI redesign to the invoice editor along with many exciting new features. Let's see the new functionality of the invoice tool in more detail. Go to your project and add an invoices tab. Make sure the tab's visibility is set to share with clients so your clients can view the invoices. Once you're in this tab, click the new invoice button to create your invoice. This will open an invoice template that will display your brand logo and billing address. In the left section of the screen, you will see the brand new invoice editor. Since we've added new features, let's look at each option one at a time. As usual, you start by associating a client with your invoice. This option is necessary as you need to link the client you're billing. Associating the client will also add their billing address to the invoice. The next section gives you the option to add a project. Previously, you had to associate the project with your invoice. After the update, however, adding a project to your invoice is no longer mandatory. Now you can create invoices for clients without relating them to particular projects. The item section also gets an update. Here you have three items, add item, subtotal, and add tax. Click on add item to open the modal. Here you can add your items and their prices as always, but this time you can also add quantities. For example, if you bill your client for two email template designs, put the initial price for one template, set the quantity to two and the tool will automatically calculate the total price for the two templates. To edit your items, simply click on the pen icon next to the item you wish to modify. When you're in edit mode, you can also delete that item entirely by clicking the bin icon in the bottom right corner. The next item is subtotal. It isn't clickable, so you can't edit it directly. Instead, it serves to display the automatically calculated subtotal price that reflects all the numbers you've added to your items and taxes. This leads us to the last option, add tax. Click on that item to open the tax details mode. Here you can add the name of the tax and the amount in percentage. You can also add negative taxes, for example, if you want to add a discount. Simply type the accurate negative percentage in the amount input and hit save. All your taxes and discounts will now be reflected in the subtotal. Now let's go to the next section from the invoice editor where you can find the payment options. Here you can set the due date for when the invoice must be paid. Previously, you could choose between a list of due dates between one day and 60 days. With the new update, you can now also set a custom due date. Choosing that option will show you a calendar where you can select a particular date. The payment options include all payment methods you've previously configured. You can still uncheck the boxes of payment methods you don't wish to include. And last, the newly redesigned invoice tool also offers advanced options in the last section. These options include the date of issue, which allows you to change the date of the issue to another day. Here you can also add a memo and a footer note for your invoice. Here you will also find the new reminders option. This feature allows you to set a reminder for the client on a particular date before or after the invoice is due. You can select the date from the drop-down menu in the Reminders modal and you can also set a reminder message. And last, you have the currency option that you can select to change the currency for the invoice. To do so, select the currency you want from the drop-down menu and hit the Save button. Another new thing about the redesign tool is that you can also add a custom invoice number. To do so, go the invoice number on top of the editor and click the pen button. This will open a window where you can edit the generated number. Additionally, if you go to the More menu in the top right corner of the Invoice Editor, you will see all the options that we've mentioned listed in the menu. Once you're ready with your invoice, click the Finalize button in the top right corner of the screen to turn your draft into an official invoice. When your invoice is finalized, you can now send it to your client. The Finalize button is now gone and in its place, you can see a Send button. Click on it to choose how you'd like to send the invoice. You can send it directly into a project conversation or to your client's email. Sending it as an email allows you to change the subject and message, as well as to send a copy of the invoice to your email as well. Kitchen will automatically generate a PDF of the invoice and attach it to the message. Now let's get to the best part that we saved for last. With the new update, you can edit finalized invoices no matter the stage they are in. To do so, go your invoices menu in the main navigation to see a list of all your finalized invoices. Click on the more menu next to the invoice you wish to modify and select the edit option. You will notice everything here is editable as if it was in a draft stage. This new update is a big one and brings an entire UI redesign and new features to the invoice editor to make it much more intuitive and functional.
Since we're nowhere near done with this tool, expect recurring invoices and automatic payments in the next update that is coming very soon. Thanks for watching.